Hey, I'm back. This is Chandler for Melder Production, and today I thought I'd show you how you can use step sequence effects using some Melda multiband plugins. And so before I did a video similar to this using the level plugin in the multiband effects to create like delay throws or reverb throws. And those are cool, but sometimes you want to do this over and over again and automating this in your DAW can sometimes be a pain. So I want to show you another way you can do this that might be a little bit easier and will open up some interesting possibilities for repeated uh, figures like this. So this is just me playing a, an arpeggio or an arpeggiated part on guitar. So I'll let you listen to this. So that's fairly simple and something I might use in a song or something, put some drums and a bass under that. And that's cool, but what if I want to spice it up a little bit? Especially on that high note, when I'm hitting the high note of the arpeggio, I might want to add, you know, uh, let's say a little bit of reverb, actually a lot of reverb. But I don't want it on the other notes. So let's go about doing that. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open one of my reverbs and what I think I'm going to use is M Turbo Reverb, but not the normal one here. I'm going to use M Turbo Reverb MB, so the multiband version. You're kind of wondering like why am I doing that, but we actually need it for this. So if I open this, here's the crossover and this is what I want. But now it's on one band, I want to change that to two bands. So come here, change it to two bands. That's good. And one other thing I want to change, so now it's splitting it by frequency, and I don't want that. I want it to split it by level, like this. The first band here, we don't really need to use that, because I don't want any reverb on this. So if I turn this down like this, and I play it... You're probably thinking, like, hey, I don't hear anything, I don't hear any reverb, and that's the point. On this band, we don't want to hear it. Now this band, let's change it to like a huge space. Let's use like cave. You see how long this is? That's really long. And uh, let's do something else. Let's put a little bit of modulation on here. So we can really modulate it and you know get uh, lots of depth on this. But if I play it now, you're still not going to hear anything. You're probably wondering like, why? Why don't I hear anything? But the reason is... The level is zero, so it means it's all the way down here. If I move this up and you look here, you'll see, oh wow, it moves there. So if I move this all the way up and then play it like this, that's cool, but I don't want it on everything. I kind of want to just put this on certain instruments. So I actually can do that. So let me show you how you can do that. Okay, so what we want to do is open this here so we have access to the mods. So what I'm going to do here is first turn it on. And then I want to use the global and find that parameter, which is level crossover value. So now if we move this out of the way so you can see, it's moving in time with our LFO, but I don't want to do this. This is not good. So I want to change it over to sync. And this is way too fast. Quarter note. So I'm going to change this to two bars because this pattern repeats every two bars. That uh, high note on the arpeggio is the fifth beat in an eight beat pattern. So everything seems good. One of the problems is something I did that was stupid. If you look here, I started on the second measure, so it's like, oh no, it's not going to start on the right beat, but we can actually fix that. So here where it says phase, instead of 90, I want to change that to 180, which is 50%. So this means it's going to start in the middle of the beat. But another problem we have is this. It's a sine wave. I don't want that. I'm going to use a step sequencer, so just turn this to 100%. Go and edit this. Now I'm going to move this down here. And I said it's the fifth beat, so I'm just going to turn this all the way up. Click OK. Now, if you see it, it turns up like that. The problem is this is a little bit too sharp, so it might cause some artifacts. So I want to turn the smoothness up just like this. OK, so this should be good. Now, let's listen to it.
So there you go. It's that easy. And something else you might want to know if you kind of did it and it's like, oh, my playing's a little bit off time or something, or the vocalist is coming in a little bit early, what you can do is just click here and move it to the left and right. If you move it too far and like, oh no, that, that's not good, I can just double click and it'll return where it was. And then, okay, just nudge it over a little bit. And of course, you can do this with other things besides just the reverb. So, show you another one I did before, quickly here. I did this with M delay, MB. Let's go to the preset I made, step sequence delay, and we have the same thing, except the only difference is I have it on a different beat. So you see here it's on the first beat, but it's basically the same thing, so let's listen to this. So for me, that's getting really interesting, and you can do this with more and more plugins. I'll show you one more. So if you have MXXX, you can do some really, really interesting things with this. So I'll open my copy of MXXX here and show you something I did. Have the bright yellow color. It doesn't look so great, but it's interesting at least. And so going to here, you see I used M Turbo Reverb just like the other one. I used the delay. Uh, this time I didn't use a ping pong delay. On the previous example with the delay, I used the ping pong, but this time I didn't. And then I used the rhythm here to get a... What effect was it? Oh, I used the filter, I'm sorry, to create like a transgate effect. And so they all move back and forth, you can see here. All controlled by the mod. And so let's listen to this one time. So you heard there's all sorts of effects going on there and you can change them however you like. So for me, I think uh, that transgate at the end there, didn't really like that. Let's go to the volume and make this a 30 second note triplet. I don't know if this will sound better, but let's try it. Okay, so hopefully that gave you some ideas of things you can do. You can do more with that. So for example, if you open this up, you can add you no know, chorus before this, or you could add uh, you no know, distortion before this, etc. You can come up with your own interesting combinations. You can all do all sorts of creative things with this. But if you like this, leave me a comment down below and a thumbs up, and be sure to subscribe, and also check out all the other plugins at meldaproduction.com. But until next time, see you.